So here we are, UFC 142 in January of 2012. Here you are getting ready to take on Jose Aldo. And I got to think, you know, this aura of invincibility, you're not one to be intimidated, but man, this guy looks so good in the UFC. And, and here you are finally sharing the octagon with him. Yeah, it was uh, crazy. It was a crazy experience. Uh, this was the first time I'd ever fought out of the country. Um, you know, the Brazilian crowd was crazy. Mario Yamasaki gives you the instructions. You guys come to the center of the octagon, and it seemed as though the early plan out of you was, was to attack Jose Aldo's lead leg, yeah? Yeah, definitely. The, the game plan was to really put the pressure on him as far as takedowns go. You know, one thing that I felt, my inside kicks that you can see here, I worked a lot on that throughout this camp. That was one thing we did as far as striking goes. You know, I feel like I landed quite a bit of those on him. I hate my long shorts. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm marveling at the physical maturation, you know, Chad Mendes here in 2014 compared yeah. to that. And I mean, nobody's going to call you small, obviously. There's Aldo landing the leg kick for the first time. And, you know, a lot of people say it really only takes one or two to damage that muscle tissue. How hard yeah. were those early kicks? You know, after, you know, landing that first one, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, see, basically the, the game plan there was wait for him to come in to, uh, attack on that double, but he does a great job of switching his hips. So we just saw your first takedown attempt, came just over a minute in. Uh, any discouragement or, or way too early for that, the fact that you weren't able to get him on his back? No, definitely way too early. I mean, as a wrestler, you, you're always taught to chain wrestle, um, you know, and, and take shot after shot. You know, that's just part of, of breaking your opponent down. It is so rare, though, to see you enter and change levels and, and not be able to get an opponent yeah, yeah. down, you know? And I think at that time, one of the things, too, is his size. I mean, I just felt like he was uh, a lot bigger than me back then. Once again, his takedown defense holds up there. Mm -hmm. Looks like another take. I thought for sure you had this one briefly down right back up. And that just goes back to me saying, you know, the athleticism of Aldo. It, it takes a very athletic person. There's one cage grab. And that was really the blatant one. Yeah. Talk us through the finish, if you would. You know, that th this was a huge mistake on my part, honestly. Looking back to this fight, you know, there was, I remember looking up and there was only a few seconds left and I had been on his back now and it was, it was basically me letting up. You know, I, I should have stayed tight and just stayed on his back till the round was up. Um, you know, and that, that was the mistake. You know, I basically thought, you know, a couple seconds left, all right, I'm good to go. I loosened up my grip a bit. I think you could feel it turned through that knee and you guys saw what happened, but um, I mean, this is madness. <laughs> Here it goes, boom. That was a mix of power too, me coming in hard, right. him throwing it. So that's both forces coming into that. Every fight, every camp that I've been in since that fight, uh, you know, was to face this guy. All right, well, the two and a half year wait finally comes to an end October 25th in Rio de Janeiro. Safe travels down there, my man, and uh, hopefully you come back with some awesome. hardware. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Chad Mendes in the film room.